Hello, and welcome to the Super Data Science YouTube channel. My name's David, and today we're going to be going through different joins in dplyr. Let's load the package and then have a look at what the different types of joins are. So first of all, a left join is when we have a set, set A, and we want all observations from set A, but only the observations from set B where we have a match in A. Now a right join is very similar, but this time we want all observations from set B and just the observations from set A which overlap. Now a full join is where we want all observations from A and B regardless of whether they're in the intersection. And now our inner join is where we just want observations which are in both sets. Now we're going to look at some examples using some predefined data sets in R. So we're going to use the state abbreviation and the state name data sets. And we'll C bind those together to have a new data set called state name. And we've also got state abbreviation with state area. Now for the first data set, we're only going to have rows 1 to 30. And for the second data set, we'll have rows 11 to 50. So this means that some states will be in only one of our data sets and some states will be in both of them. So first of all, we'll show you left join. So we'll have state left join. And this is, we'll start with state name. And then if you hit control shift and M, you get the piping. Then we have left join and we want to join state area and we want to join this by state abbreviation. Now we don't have to type this because dplyr is smart enough to know that state abbreviation is the only common column between the two data sets, but it's good practice to put it in just in case. So if we have a look at this new data frame, we can see that in cases where we didn't have anything in state area, so for those rows 1 to 10 which aren't in state area, we just get NA. And it also means that we still only have 30 rows because we're just looking at observations which are in our left set, which in this case is our state name. Now if we have a look at our right join, which has a very similar syntax. So we'll have state name and we will right join that to state area. And by again is state abbreviation. Now, if we have a look at this data set, we can see now that we have 40 observations and we just have the observations which are in set B. So those first 10 states are no longer here, but we have those final 20 states which aren't in set A. And because of that, we don't have the set name for those, the state name for those observations. So we just get an NA. Now let's have a look at our inner join. So this is just going to be a join which gets us just the observations which are in both sets. Again, the syntax is the same. State name, then our piping, inner join, state area, and by is state abbreviation. Now, if we have a look at this, we can see we just have 20 observations, those states which are in both sets, and this means that all observations are complete, so we don't have any NAs there. Now we'll look at our final type of join, which is a full join. So this is going to join together all observations, regardless of whether they're in the other data set or not. So we do full join, state area, and again, our by is state abbreviation. So if we run this and take a look at it, 
we can see that we have our all 50 observations and we just have an NA where the data is missing. So at the start, we're missing our state area and at the end, we're missing our state name. I hope this video has been really useful. If it has, don't forget to share and like it and subscribe to the channel.